Hi friends, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. So, today I wanted to talk about films and TV shows that I want to see made into musicals. Listen, I love an original musical. I love it, love it, love it. You could even say, I Amy love it. I'll see myself out. No, but honestly, um, I really like musicals adapted from films. There's some films and TV shows that I just think, oh, you would make such a good musical. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. So before I get started, this video is in partnership with Disney Plus as a celebration for their new Star Wars adventure, The Book of Boba Fett, which I have been obsessing over for the last few weeks. You can click the link down in the description to get your own Disney Plus subscription so you can watch along too. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. First movie that I think should be turned into a musical. I feel like I've potentially talked about this before, but I don't know. But a movie I want to see made into a musical is Dumplin'. If you haven't seen it, it's one of my favourite films. It's based on a book. It's about a girl who is plus size who goes in for um, like a beauty contest. It's also set to the music of Dolly Parton. Mm, what's not to love? I adore this film and I think it would perfectly fit into being made into a musical. I actually attempted to write my own version of it in lockdown. Listen, I do not have those skills. I just do not. But I hope someday it is made into a musical and I hope that I'm in it because I feel very passionately about it. If you haven't seen Dumplin', you have to. It's so good. I don't know whether I would want it still to be set to as many Dolly Parton songs or if I would want Dolly Parton to write more songs. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what the vibe is. If you've seen it, let me know what you think would work best. Okay, next up is Moana. I think Moana would be such a good stage musical. Obviously Disney do amazing movie to stage musical adaptations and I'm like come on please give me Moana next. To be honest I didn't like Moana the first time I watched it but I re-watched it in lockdown and now it's one of my absolute favourites and I think it would be so good on stage. I can imagine all the beautiful scenery and like draping to be the water and like the big crab. Oh come on it'd be so cool. Like can you imagine if the crab was massive right so I saw King Kong on Broadway a few years ago and King Kong was like this massive monkey. Obviously it is. We all know King Kong is a big monkey. It was like giant and he like came out over the audience and stuff And I think it would be so cool if like the big crab was like massive. Do you know what I mean? I think it would be so cool Please somebody make Moana and like the music's already there for you. As I said earlier I've recently been watching the book of Boba Fett Which is a Star Wars original series that's exclusively available on Disney Plus and I'm hikey obsessed with it It's so good. So the show finds legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett and the mercenary Fennec Shand navigating the galaxy's underworld as they return to the sands of Tatooine to stake their claim on the territory once ruled by Jabba the Hutt and his crime syndicate. I don't want to give any spoilers but I have to say you have to watch this. The production values are incredible. There's this scene in the second episode where there's this train and I won't go into all the details but honestly, had my heart going. I was on the edge of my seat. It's so good. I also just love seeing the backstory of the characters that you know, but you don't necessarily like know them deep down. Does that make sense? You know and you recognize them. Like we all know Boba Fett, but we're getting to see who he is as a person and why he is the way that he is and the choices he's made and the journey that he's been on. And I love that. I feel like Disney Plus are just raising the bar for streaming and for new content and it's just incredible. I got quite into Star Wars at the end of last year. I started watching all the films as I saw all the new shows starting on Disney Plus like The Mandalorian and now obviously The Book of Boba Fett. So it's all pretty new to me and there's so much content. Even if you've not been like a lifetime Star Wars fan, there's definitely still time to like catch up and to enter into this world. You can enjoy the content that Disney Plus has to offer for just £7.99 a month. I'll leave a link down in the description so that you can get your 
your own subscription for Disney Plus. And honestly, there's just so much on there. So one of the things I also loved about the book of Boba Fett was the music, the underscoring is beautiful. And because of that, I think that Star Wars would make an amazing stage musical. Right, hear me out. Because obviously Star Wars is massive. There would be so much to kind of condense into one musical, but I think it would be so cool if you had like, you know someone who like knows the Star Wars lore to kind of pull people from all of the different films and all of the different TV shows together. Do you know what I mean? Like I can imagine this massive end of act one where you've got Darth Vader and Yoda and C-3PO and Boba Fett and Jabba the Hutt and Chewbacca and all of these people all coming together in this like big musical battle. Do you know what I mean? I think it would be so cool. I can imagine like the grandest musical ever. Do you know what I mean? In a massive theatre. And I think if they had had somebody like Julie Taymor who did The Lion King, like somebody very innovative with puppetry and staging and costuming and stuff, it would be incredible. I think a Star Wars musical would really, really work. And like, you could incorporate the theme tune and the music from The Mandalorian and the music from The Book of Boba Fett. And I think you could put them all together and it would be great. So if you're out there thinking, maybe I should write a Star Wars musical, this is your sign. <laughs> okay, next on my list is Moxie. It came out, I want to say last year, and it's about like this teenage girl who starts writing like a magazine around her school and it's all about like girl power and like feminism and standing up for what you believe in and having your own voice and I think it would be such a cool musical. Very similar to like You Know 13 by Jason Robert Brown that's all about like coming of age. I think it would be a really great musical. I can imagine it if they cast it really well with actual teenagers. I think that the future of musical theatre is in the younger generations and I would love for them to have a musical that is both inspiring in like a go out there and you know use your voice and believe in what you think is right um so like to have a musical like that but then also to be able to see themselves on stage and like an aspirational show for young performers to want to be in and I think it would be great for like community youth productions and I can imagine a really really amazing score like a poppy rocky score not too rocky I can just see it I can see it all I think it would be amazing I think it's a great film and I think it would be a great musical have you seen Moxie let me know if you have. Okay, next movie I think should be made into a musical is Phone Booth. Okay, hear me out because this might be a weird one. Phone Booth is a film. It's quite, it's quite heavy, but it's this guy and he's stuck in a phone booth and he's basically being like blackmailed. And I think it would be a really good musical in like a very small space. I think like an indie musical. And I think it would be great because you don't need a huge cast. I can very much imagine it in like off West End, off Broadway, Edinburgh fringe kind of vibe and I really like it in musicals when the stakes are really high and everyone's singing and it's like angry belting. I think that Phone Booth the musical would be great. <laughs> If you've seen Phone Booth, you might be like, you're such a weirdo, why do you think that? I don't know, I really like the film. I think it would be a good musical. <laughs> okay, next on my list is 10 Things I Hate About You. Another of one of my favorite films. I love this movie. I very much love a teen 90s movie being made into a musical. I think there's so much scope for so many songs and so many dance routines. And like, you could still include, obviously there's that moment where Heath Ledger sings, I want you baby and if it's quite all right and if they did that like on the stairs still I can just imagine it would be so good with like the do 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 what's it called like a brass band and dancers and I think it would be kind of epic and I think it would be amazing as well if it was in a theater I really like it when cast kind of come through the audience I don't know I like it like breaking the fourth wall you know it starts off like with the guy playing Patrick Verona singing like you're just too good to be true. And then by the end, people are in the audience, in the aisles, with the 
trumpets and I think it would be so cool. <laughs> I just think it would work very, very well. You've got like the arguing sisters, you've got like the cute boy who fancies Bianca, you know, he has like sweet, soft love songs and then you've got Kat Stratford who's like very angry and like angsty and I just think it would be great. I do. I think it would be amazing. Okie dokie, next on my list, very much in the same vein as Moana, Tangled. Where is the Tangled musical? Why have we not got a Tangled musical yet? The music is there. Oh, can you imagine how beautiful it would be? Like, I can see the set. You know where Rapunzel's tower is? I just think it would be beautiful. And I would love it. So I think they should do it. Um, Mother Knows Best Reprise is one of the best songs ever. I must listen to it like once a week for sure when she's like, I told you so. No, Rapunzel knows best. Oh, it's so good. And I think it would be an amazing musical. And can you imagine like the choreography where they're like, where she's swinging around on her own hair and stuff? That would be so cool! When's it gonna get made, please? <laughs> Rightio, next on my list, I think Juno should be a musical, right? I think Juno w would work perfectly. Very like indie, kind of folky music. The soundtrack of Juno already is amazing. I think it works perfectly. There's so much that you could do with the adopting couple and and then with Juno's stepmom and like in the baby clinic. I'm getting very much kind of folky, but also still musical theatre, but maybe with a little quirky twist, like, may I feel like if you put Lawrence O'Keefe and Sarah Bareilles together, their musical styles mixed for Juno, the musical. Is Juno a musical already? The thing is, if I say any of these and you're like, they're already musicals, please let me know and I will be looking them up because I don't pretend to know everything. Yeah, I would love a Juno musical. I think it'd be so good and like funny and cute and sad. All the things that you want in a musical. <laughs> a very chilled musical, but like also quirky and funny. Okay, last on my list is The Breakfast Club. How is that not already a musical? The Breakfast Club would work so perfectly. There's so much opportunity for like, so solo numbers and then like a big dance routine of them all coming together. You've got like a romance. It's a classic. Everybody loves it. And like you wouldn't need like a big set or anything. I feel like it could be somewhat low budget. Think of the 80s costumes, the 80s like synthy vibes of the music. It would be amazing. I would pay big bucks to go and see The Breakfast Club, the musical. I love The Breakfast Club. I think it's a great film. Who do I think would write the music. I just want Lawrence O'Keefe to write all the music. We know I love Lawrence O'Keefe, okay? I think he's one of the greatest writers ever and I think he really knows how to do movie to musical perfectly. Now then, I am so intrigued. What movies do you think should be made into musicals? What movies do you think should not be made into musicals? Have you watched The Book of Boba Fett yet? As I say, I highly recommend it. There is a link down in the description, so go ahead to go and get your subscription to Disney Plus if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you in the comments and I'll see you soon. Love you lots. Bye!